Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you don't already know, my name is Nandipa. To those who are new, welcome, welcome and welcome. In today's videos, we are going to be applying some um, mascara on my hooded eyes. As you can see, I do have wooded eyes. Hooded eyes. Um, I'm going to be using these three amazing mascaras that I have. The first mascara is an hourglass mascara. This is uh, the bomb. Now this is called the Extreme Lash Mascara. This is thick, like thick. This mascara is seriously thick. Absolutely love it though. The next mascara I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using the Pat McGrath Fetish Eyes Mascara. Love, 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 love the brush. The last one is, I bought a mini on this one. This is the NARS Climax. Love the bristles. Absolutely love the wand on this mascara. Okay, so as I said in the beginning, I do have hooded eyes, which means that um, my eyes tend to sort of like hang um, on the lids, on my eyelids, okay? So I will not be using any eyelash curler. Instead, I will be using a spoolie, as you can see call this bully right so the first thing I do is I brush up my eyelashes can you see yes I do have lashes even though you cannot see them now the problem with hooded eyes is that you cannot see when you have eyelashes it's like literally like you don't have anything so even sometimes when you do apply mascara you still don't see much unless you have like you know and then you start up putting on false lashes now what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be trying to achieve that thick fuller false lash look using just a mascara as well as um, the spoolie so the first thing I do is um, brush up my eyelashes just trying to get them separated and try to really trying to um, lengthen them basically even though you can't see much but yes that's it and another thing is that my eyelashes sometimes tend to curl inwards and that's so irritating so the first um, mascara I'm going to be using I'm going to be using the uh, NARS mascara as you can see the brush the wand over there now what I really love about this I know it's like a thick and you might be thinking why are you starting with the wand that's got thicker fuller um, bristles well, the reason being is that um, with this mascara, I find when you take it out of the of the uh, mascara, when you take the wand out of the mascara, it does not take a lot of mascara. So when you bring back, bring back just the right amount of mascara, so it's not thick. So it's a very light application. Um, so that's what I love about it. So what I normally do is literally just brush up um, on my lashes like really trying to get into the roots as you can see I am taking it right from the line over there the eyeliner pulling it upwards yeah that's basically what I'm doing so I'm really trying to cover the bottom the roots of the of the eyelashes that's very important trying to brush them upwards okay so it doesn't focus as you can see over there so you literally just do that and then you're going to do the same on the other side and you can also do the wiggle effect as well you know when you wiggle and you brush upwards again you can do that too that's fine because the most important thing here again is to make sure that you've got the base there we go I'm wiggling make sure that you've got that base because once you've got that base your, um, your mascara will appear as if it's thick you know it's going to give you like that look from the bottom and that's what you want once you've got your foundation built up you're excellent you're good to go Okay, so now we're going in um, with my spoolie. All right, so what I usually like to do is after it's dry, I always wait for my mascara to sort of like almost dry. And then once it's almost dry, I turn to brush my eyelashes again, just to mainly separate them. And then I'm going on with the second coat of the, um, the same mascara. 
just really trying to lengthen everything up just remember because this brush is so much more fuller and I just feel it really gives that brush now what I'm doing is I'm actually doing it from the top as you can see but I'm trying to get to as close to the um, to the roots of the eyelashes so I'm going in the reverse opposite trying to really pull from the top now the reason why it's important to do this when your mascara is like drying or almost dry is because if you do it while your uh, mascara is still wet like immediately after the first layer it's going to weigh heavy so your eyelashes are going to weigh heavy and sort of like going to droop they're not really going to you're not going to get that effect of um, your eyelashes standing up or curling up and also the reason why I'm doing it on the opposite side because you do want to coat your lashes from the top as well so you do want the top of your lashes to be well coated so you get a nice balance so you don't have like thick application at the bottom and then a very light application at the top because remember you're trying to get a full effect of your um, of your eyelashes and this really helps so make sure you do it from um, the top as well as from the bottom or up and down, whichever way that works. Now comes my favorite mascara. Now this is the hourglass mascara. As you can see, taking it out, it takes out a lot of mascara there is so much mascara on that wand what you want to do is really make sure you remove the excess there's a lot of excess like there is plenty of excess so make sure you really get um, a lot of the mascara out as you can see look at that look at that there's that's just enough uh, mascara for like five pairs of eyelashes like seriously it, it comes out really really thick so what you want to try and do is try to get um whenever you coat your eyes with the mascara trying to get as little as you possibly can so you're really just building up on those lashes because you really want them to stand out as well to um, make your eyes look more open um, if that's what you mean Now I love this mascara because um, it gets to work on each individual lash so really just coating each individual lash as you can see there I'm like really focusing on, on coating each individual lash and the, the bristles on this um, on this wand allows me to do that and you can even just hold it vertically just to try and push the lashes up as you can see I'm always trying to work from the bottom up really again get that base to make sure it's nice and thick to get that it's like you're having that band you know when you have your false lashes at the band yeah you're literally just having like that so it gives the eye a nice full look and then obviously I also do it from the top also working from the top but like I said remember work from the top once your mascara is um, almost dry so that it, your eyelashes don't droop but yeah this is actually one of my favorite um, mascaras because it really focuses on each individual lash just coating it as well as just giving it the length absolutely in love with this one Now I'm going to finish off with my Pat McGrath mascara. Look at the bristles on this one. Oh my gosh. I love this mascara. Look at even the coats. Can you tell? Now if you want that thick, like fuller look on your eyelashes, this is a mascara. It absolutely just coats your lashes and gives them that nice thick and full look. And also what's nice is that the bristles um, are also smaller than um, 
the first mascara that I use, the NARS one. So you also get into the inner corners of your eye where you've got your smaller lashes. Look at that, look at the difference. Like, look at that difference. And when you take your, um, your wand out of the mascara, it does not have too much um, mascara on it. So um, you're not going to have like that blob. Even if you do have a blob, you know, what you can do is once you wait for your mascara to dry, just take your spoolie again and just brush it up so you remove any excess, just depending on what kind of effect you want in your lashes. This mascara gives me that wow effect. This is literally like the wow effect mascara. Absolutely love it. And the consistency of the mascara is absolutely amazing because that's also something that's very important in a mascara, the consistency of the mascara. Now I'm going to show you what my eyes look like. Look at this. My eyes are more opened. Even though I have um, hooded eyes, my eyes look more opened and it looks like I've got nice, thick, full lashes, which is the effect that I wanted. So I know it takes a couple of um, coats of eyelashes, but if you do want to have that effect, like you have false lashes, basically, this is what you have to do. You have to do it a couple of times and then you also have to use amazing mascaras. I'm sure there's mascaras out there that you can also use that are um, cheaper, less price. But look at that. I'm going to show you some slides on what my um, what the finish was like. But yeah, guys, if you did enjoy this video, please do hit that like um, that like button and also make sure you subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much for watching. I hope this did help you.